In a previous lesson, we looked at how you can code up your own linked list data structure. A common follow-up interview question is to reverse the linked list in place. This is a question so famous that at this point, it is basically a meme. So in this lesson, we will discuss a simple mental model and a solution to this problem. So let's jump right in. We start off by bringing in the linked list and the linked list node from our linked list module. The key task at hand is to write this function called reverse linked list that takes an input linked list and reverses the order of the elements within the list in place. Here's a quick recap of the linked list data structure. We have a list of nodes where each node has a value of type T and it can be anything like a string or a number that we store against the node. And then it has a member called next, which points to the next node within the chain. And the final element will actually point to null. The first node is the head and the last node is the tail. Now our objective with the reverse linked list function is to reverse the order of the next pointers. So for any node A that was pointing to node B, we should make it such that B will now point to A. So every next node should start pointing to the previous node. And of course, for the first node, it will start pointing to null. Let's start by coding up a simple version of what we want. Fundamentally, we will simply loop through the nodes. And for each node, we will update its next pointer to point to the previous node. To store the previous node, we create this variable called previous and we initialize it to null because when we start from list.head, it will have no previous node and therefore it will be null. Next, we write a basic loop to go through all of the nodes in the linked list. We are clearly starting off at the head and if it is not null, then we update its next pointer to the previous node and then we kick off the next iteration by setting the previous to current and current to current.next. Now that's the general extent of the algorithm that you actually need. However, there are two more things that you need to remember in order to do this correctly. First, note that when we replaced current.next, we can actually no longer use it to go to the next value as it's now pointing to the previous member. Now that's easily fixed by storing the reference in a temporary variable before we do the replacement and then using this temporary variable to go to the next node. Now, the other thing that you need to remember is that list.head needs to point to the last node in the original list. In this particular data structure, we are storing the head as well as the tail. So it's an easy swap between the two variables. By the way, if this method of swapping JavaScript variables is new to you, I have a lesson dedicated to this that I will leave in the video description. Now the space complexity is O of one because we are reversing the original nodes in place and only need to allocate a constant amount of additional space. And time complexity is O of n because we need to loop through all of the nodes and therefore this will be done in linear time. And that is it. You've successfully reversed an input link list in place. Now let's do a quick demo to demonstrate that it actually functions. We create a link list and then add the values one, two, three, four in that order, invoke reverse link list on this particular example, and then iterate through the values of the link list. And we expect to see four, three, two, one, and that is exactly what we see in the output. The in-place reversal of the linked list is not a coding algorithm that is particularly complex. You just need to remember a few key things. Every next node should point to the previous node. And before you do this replacement, make sure you store the old dot next member so that you can use it to continue the iteration. And finally, the new head should point to the old tail and the new tail should point to the old head. And with that, you should be able to code it up on the fly. And that's all for this lesson. Smash that like and subscribe for more coding tips and tricks. And I will see you in the next one.